Can someone have a normal blood glucose level and still have diabetes? For a healthy individual, fasting blood sugar below 100 mg per deciliter or 5.6 mmol per liter in Australia and some other countries. So if you have that level of blood sugar, then nobody calls you a diabetic. However, if you want to confirm the situation you may need to run some more blood tests or blood work. That may include the expensive A1C test or HbA1c test. This test could be a bit expensive, but there is another alternative. That is a post-meal blood sugar test or post-prandial blood glucose test. A healthy blood sugar level after a meal or a healthy post-prandial glucose test. Healthy blood glucose level, 2 hours after eating should be below 140 mg per deciliter or 7.8 millimoles per liter. We will break down this into three categories, namely healthy, pre-diabetic and diabetic. This typically depends on the timing after eating. Generally, for non-diabetic individuals, the above-mentioned ranges are considered normal. Pre-diabetes is a condition where your blood sugar levels are higher than normal, but not high enough to be classified as type 2 diabetes. Here are the values summarizing the pre-diabetic blood sugar levels. Fasting blood sugar 100 to 125 mg per deciliter or 5.6 to 6.9 millimoles per liter. After eating 140 to 199 mg per deciliter, 7.8 to 11.0 millimoles per liter. If you are concerned that you might have prediabetes, it is important to talk to your doctor. They can do a blood test to check your blood sugar levels. Early diagnosis and treatment of prediabetes can help prevent type 2 diabetes and other serious health problems. It is recognized that early intervention can reverse prediabetes in most individuals. Here are some additional things to keep in mind about prediabetes. There are often no symptoms of prediabetes. Prediabetes is a risk factor for heart disease, stroke, and kidney disease. Lifestyle changes, such as losing weight, eating a healthy diet, and getting regular exercise, can help prevent or delay type 2 diabetes. For individuals with diabetes, target ranges can vary based on how good that individual is controlling diabetes, but common targets include 1 to 2 hours after a meal, blood sugar levels should generally be less than 180 mg per deciliter or 10 millimoles per liter in Australia and some other countries. This is to minimize damage to other organs in the body caused by diabetes. After meal blood sugar may vary as high sugar and refined carbohydrate meals cause blood sugar to rise quickly. On the same way, meals with more fiber, fat and protein may delay or limit the blood sugar rise. This delay will allow our body to make more insulin and deal with blood sugar rise. These values are general guidelines, and it's important for individuals to consult with their healthcare provider to determine personalized targets based on their specific health needs and conditions. It is worth checking after meal blood sugar levels at least once every few months to see whether it is in the normal range. If it is not, you may be getting into the pre-diabetic range. Act now. Do not forget to click the like button and subscribe. Up above you see two videos related to diabetes and related health issues. Thanks very much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.